Okay, so it's safe to assume that you're all familiar with the game you just saw. It's of course Flappy Bird. It's a very simple game, but how long does it actually take to remake Flappy Bird? I took this in my own hands and remade Flappy Bird in just one hour. Of course, using Unreal Engine 5. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, link to my Discord is in the description. Also down there is a link to my Patreon if you guys do wish to support me. There is also a link to the project files for this video. So if you guys are interested, you can download the project files as well from gumroad.com. Firstly, let's set up the Unreal Engine project. We also need to create some sort of a world where our game can play out. So let's create a level for that. I guess this should be good enough for now. Now we'll also need to make the bird which we'll actually control. By bird I mean cube because technically we do not have enough time to make a bird. We need to actually make the bird fly when we actually press the key. First let's set up our input mappings. Luckily we can just use Unreal's launch character function to just handle the flying part for us. Perfect. Now we need some obstacles. Now I want the obstacles to vary in terms of their vertical height as well as I want them to move faster as you gain more points. We have the obstacle but we also need to spawn it dynamically so let's just quickly do that. We also need to make the obstacle move so we'll just use a timeline for that. That works I guess. Now the reason why I made the obstacles move rather than the player is that if I make the player move there can be a point where the player goes so far away that he actually exits the world. So to just prevent that I make the obstacle move in the opposite direction which makes it look like the player is moving in the forward direction. The game needs to end when we hit an obstacle. So we'll be using the hit as well as the overlap events in Unreal Engine to handle that. We also need to keep track of the points scored by the player. Let's display the points on a widget which will appear on the player's screen. I had to redo the variable speed logic for the obstacles because the timeline wasn't really designed for that. So I'm going to use a tick function along with a variable which I'll use to control the speed of the obstacles. Then I had to make the main menu where you can either play or you can see your last as well as high scores. I also wanted to put the title of the game in the main menu. Of course, since I do not want to be blamed for plagiarism, we are going to name our Flappy Bird clone as Flapless Bird since our bird doesn't really have a flap. Well, technically it's just a cube but let's still call it a bird. We have all the mechanics working. So now I guess I can just set up some save logic so that the scores are going to be saved and even the last match score can be seen from the main menu. So for that I'll just use a simple save game and I guess that should be enough. Finally I went ahead and set up some basic shader for my obstacle so that it looks a little more like the original. I also went ahead and added a basic texture to the ground. The one last challenge that I had 
was to make the ground look like it's moving in the opposite direction of the player because otherwise the illusion is quite fake and it's pretty obvious that the player is just jumping in the same spot and that the obstacles are just moving. So what I did is I went to the original shader code of the material which I was using and I just went ahead and added my own logic to make it seem like the ground is actually moving. In reality, nothing is happening. The texture is just moving in its own space. Now, as you can see, it seems like the player is actually going forward. But in reality, it's just the texture of the ground which is panning in the opposite direction. So there you have it, remake of Flappy Bird in just over an hour. Let's see how the game plays out.